Welcome to the Weekend Warriors channel. Today we're going to see if we can do a simple Gaslands build with this car. I got this out of one of the mystery packs. I'm not real fond of it to be honest with you. And I think it'll be a great Gaslands vehicle. Um, yeah, let's we'll see what we can do. So I also, along with that car, I bought this pack of these final faction pieces. You know, I bought a few of these. So I've been wanting to do a car with some of these pieces. And I think I'm going to use some from this pack here. These are like a dollar at the dollar store. I think a dollar tree. I'm not 100%. I know it's one of the dollar stores. Let's see what we got in here. You can see there's some cool pieces to be used. And I'm thinking, you know, we can do something. You can see you got a couple guns, which are really cool. These things I'm not sure that I'm going to use. And these can be like rocket boosters, whatever, right? So imagine this on this thing. If I sand off that little peg, I can actually put this on someplace. And it makes for, you know, maybe a... A nice uh, booster set that'll go on the back here. So we'll see if we can get this attached somehow. All right, let me cut off these pegs here. See what I got. Let's see if I could just. Uh, let's see if I could do it with the side cutters on this. This may be a little more challenging to get it flush, but I probably have a better set here that I could use. But let's see how this works out. See, it's not great, but. I wonder if these will break off. They will. That's even easier. Just to take and snap these off with a pair of pliers. Probably the best way. Then we get a nice flush fit. At least somewhat flush. And that actually kind of works, right? And they look like exhaust. And this will probably look like a pretty wild car once it's all painted. Or can we do the same thing and cut off that tab? There, maybe we get a nice flush piece. Somehow we may have to bend it a bit. Let's see how this works. Let's see if we can snap this piece off. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I could do something a little crazy where they're sticking out like wings in the back. That kind of works, but I have to cut right along that edge, which I can. I can get my little saw out. Let's try it, just to show you. So once I cut this off here, I've got a couple pieces that I can mount. I could probably fix them somehow on here where... Even if they're like this, well, this is going to sit back farther. So maybe I can even mount it on there. That actually is kind of cool. So if we can cut this off, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I'll probably sand it down a bit. But that could glue right on the side here. And it gives me a very robotic look. I kind of like that. So let's see if we can get some pieces glued on. Let's glue this on. We want to make sure that we got enough glue here. Lots coming out more than I like. But as long as it stays together, I'm okay with it. If we can figure out how we want these, right? Well, I'm kind of like that, I guess. We'll try to get the same angle on both. Get it right there. All right, let's get some paint brushed on this thing, and we'll see how it turns out. I'm just going to try to lather on some black, you know, just kind of cover up some parts. I don't want to do the whole thing, like I said. I kind of want to leave the, uh, the paneling up top, leave it the color that it is. I think that'll be really cool. So I'm just going to try to color, you know, the pieces that are glued on. If I get a little extra over, I'll be okay. I think it'll survive. Real simple process here. And you see I'm going to have a really cool car. If I wasn't such an idiot and I touched the paint all the time, it'd be really good. But I do that a lot. We'll grunge this thing up quite a bit. And by the time we're done, it's really going to look cool. All right, we'll be back when it dries. And I'll add some dry brushing and some other stuff. RB. Okay, so the car, the paint is dry on that. I'm going to go ahead and use some some gray and dry brush on there. Hopefully we get something really nice looking. I got an interesting gray color here. I'm going to use the same brush that I was using before. It's kind of a thick brush and I think this will work out well. So I'm just going to get a little paint on my brush. Dab it on there pretty good. And then uh, wipe it off on my paper here and I'm just going to go over the spot especially back here right and we'll just kind of give it a, like this metallic look we're not trying to color the whole thing we're just trying to give it basically like a metal wear you know on it so if you hit the edges you can uh, make it look like it's revealing the metal underneath Kind of cool technique and a real simple technique that a lot of 
uh, painters use on their miniatures and various models. And like I said, it works out really well. You just add some color. You can uh, really change the appearance of something in this using just this simple method of adding a little paint. So, you know, it looks like it's got this wear and tear where it's rubbed off some paint, but you and I know the truth. It's just paint added on the top, right? Nice little streaks there. And it looks really good. And we'll add some onto the weapons here. I'm just, I haven't even added any additional paint yet. There's enough on this brush where it's working for what, what I have here. So that's actually really cool. Real simple. And you can tell it turned out great. Looks very realistic, right? It really looks like some metal weapons. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add a little I'm gonna add a little brown and we'll see if we can uh get to add a little dust to this without going overboard. And I'll do the same technique, like a dry brush everywhere. Um especially on the wheels. We'll see if how this works for me. I just got some light brown I'm gonna add. on the back around the wheels uh, where I can like right you can see in here you want a little, little texture there we're just kind of dry brushing the same thing add a little color to it and we put a little bit on this hood um, I don't think it'll be terrible add a little dirt a little grime Kind of get it everywhere. Right. We're not. It's a car in the wasteland, so it's going to be dirty. If it's not, they're not doing it right. Get these wheels as well. They're not so shiny and they don't stand out too much. Even underneath. Uh, you probably won't see it, you know, you know, except when you have a rollover, right? So in this game, you know, cars can crash. They roll over. They get too many uh, hazard tokens. Uh, they suffer some damage. and they, they wipe out, so you may see the bottom. So I have a little dirt on the bottom. Even in the wheel here that you can barely see. Be on the bottom of the guns too. That's fine. Let's add a little bit more here. Actually, on the bottom of the guns makes a lot of sense, right? You know, let's coat the bottom of the guns here, so they look like they've got some dirt on them. And on the side there, get a little more on this wheel. There we go. So it's looking pretty good. We're going to add a little more dirt on the front here. Looking good. Looking great, actually. Let's see. much that we don't want to we don't want a real shiny car we want something that looks like it's been through through you know battles right um, there we go that looks really cool you gotta go check that out All right. well thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe you see that that looks cool right